welcome to a new plug and groove video. My name is John Skippy Limcool. This is just a video. I want to show you an update that just came out for Omnisphere and there's some cool enhancements. And, and I want to tell you a little bit about a couple libraries that are new that I've released. I've now completed three different solo string libraries, Mega Magic Cello, Mega Magic Viola, and now Mega Magic Violin. Uh, the Mega Magic Violin actually includes bonus trio multis, which is using eight samples, uh, three from cello, two from viola, and then three from violin, so that... So you have a full, uh, it's not a quartet, but a trio to work with. The Mega Magic Violin by itself. is very nice. If you go down here to the down up strokes, these are really great for melodies. And then if you combine these with all sorts of, there's over something like 15, 16 different articulations, you can get to some really cool stuff. So this library came out. Another library that just came out is called Retrosphere. This is volume one of Retrosphere. And these are right now uh, 105 patches. And these are vintage from Oberheim samples that are really cool. There's cool synths, there's cool leads pads that are really beautiful. There's effects. Uh, we're a couple of weeks before Halloween. Uh, at Halloween, I love to have programmers, they, they, they write an email and saying, what are we doing for Halloween? Because uh, the last couple of years, we've done programming little, uh, I call them like little assignments, community programming events. Um, and we're using Retrosphere as this uh, year's Halloween programming event. So you buy the library for $29 right now. It will be $39 after Halloween. Um, you will get this library and then you make patches. You get them to me by the 27th. I'll put them together. All the patches will be over 200 patches. We have quite a few programmers in our community that love to make patches. And then we'll release the library that everybody makes, including the patches that I'm making for free. And the theme is haunted house movies, shows, favorites. So if there's favorite shows that you like, or you just want to make some cool retro wave, you can, you can do so as well. Um, so these are some of the, the jails are ones I've made already. Which is combining multiple waves filtering, programming, all that stuff. And there'll be many, many, many more made by Halloween. So join the fun if you want. Now, I'm calling this a programmer's update for Omnisphere, in my opinion, because there's uh, some really cool enhancements that make working with Omnisphere even more fun than it was before. I mean, it was probably the most fun sent the program before this update, but uh, it just got bumped up a notch. And I'll show you what I mean. So let's do this. Let's call it just a simple sample in a simple patch and let's look at the list here's all the enhancements fixes and so forth that were done in 2.5.1 which took 2.50 and it's now been updated uh, support for mojave if you're a musician that uses mojave for your mac os operating system i would suggest making sure your daw your plugins are updated and work with mojave before you update to mojave if you haven't i have not i'm on 10 12 and happy <laughs> Uh, enhancement, user audio import by drag and drop into the granular page. This is cool. It used to be that you needed to go to the folders and then turn on the user audio little button right here, and then you could drag samples in to import them. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. You can actually have granular on or off. Let's drag this effect sample over. This is not from a library I'm working on. It's just one of my samples from one of my third-party libraries that I've bought. Um, and after a little bit, there's no indicator that it's doing anything. 
until afterwards it will say, hey. This sample that normally sounds like this. Do some intervals, make it wild. You could go to the creature-esque granular presets that come with the creature-esque library and do a... Uh... Let's drag over the drone. Again, there's no indicator that something is happening, but you wait for a little bit of time, depending on the length of the sample, and it will pop up and it's now here. Now be aware of this. It is actually importing them into Omnisphere and putting them into the Steam folder. There is now a user date folder, which inside of here has the two files with the names of the samples. So I would suggest naming your samples so you know what they are. Don't just, you know, freaky sound one, freaky sound two. Uh, you'll end up with a folder, a whole bunch of sounds that you can't tell what they are. And they're going to show up permanently, which means that if you now go over here to the sample directory and hit the folder, there it is. There's the date and there's the two samples. <laughs> for you to program and play with. So that's one enhancement, and that's very cool. Saves you from having to go deeper into Omnisphere in order to get to the ability to load in your own samples. Um, okay, what's next on the list? Let's see, hurry up, what's next, what's next? Um, add envelope points with a double click. Cool, so that means like other plugins have had the ability to like you could go over here and you could double click and add a point and now you can do the same thing if you have snap on then it makes it really easy to double click and make all sorts of pulsy things that you're like this actually we want to have one more click here and this is the end so we're going to have this be right here this is the top and this goes over here to be the and then turn on loop and sync. If we choose a different sample, because this one here gets dark, we don't want that. Let's say, uh, where's jumpiest? So now you can double click not only to add, but also double click to remove. It used to be you had to control click and you could get to add and remove. You still will need to double click, add the point, and then if you want it to be a different shape, you need to right click to change it to be a spike or whatever you might want it to be. But at least it's now much easier for adding points onto um, your envelopes. Um, let's see, what's next on the list? Keep going. This is fun. Are you having fun? <laughs> Okay, next, show indication when a control is waiting for a MIDI learn to complete. Um, this is cool. It used to be, say you wanted this to be controlled by hardware keyboard controller. You would go over here, right click and say MIDI learn, MIDI CC learn, and it wouldn't show anything. Now it shows a little flashing blue box. And then as you move any controller, it will latch to it and say, got it. And now it works. So that indicator that this is waiting to get information, that's new. And that's nice. Because you could be going back and forth between places in your desk. And it's like, is, is it waiting for me to send something or not? Now you know that it's waiting for you to send something. Okay? And remember, once you've done that, that they're, they're now married. So you might not want both these married. So you can right-click and say, unlearn. So now I'm back to just a filter cutoff doing this one. Okay? Cool. This last one is why I call this the programmer's update. Right here, enhancement. Use mouse wheel to scroll over menu items. What does that mean? That means that I can now call up a filter preset. Let's get it sound kind of cool. Right? And now I just put my mouse wheel over here and I can now go down the list. 
through all of these presets. <laughs> so the opportunity to explore just got so much easier because it used to be it's like, oh, you do this four or five times and then you're like kind of done. You don't want to keep doing this anymore. But now, cool, right? And it's not only here, it's over here. If you're on waves, yep. All the hundreds and hundreds of wavetables that are nested into folders here, you can get to by just sitting right here, scrolling down the list. Huge, huge time saver. But wait, there's more. LFO shapes. Let's say we get this to be doing something. Right click, modulate with an LFO. It's going to say LFO2. Let's say note legato, sync. Make its rate be eighth notes or quarter notes. Okay. Now I can just scroll with the wheel. To try all the different LFO shapes. Not only that. But on the effects, if you happen to use effects such as the distortion, the flame distortion, one of my favorites, has all this big list. Now you can just use the mouse wheel. If you go to Thrift Shop Speaker, this had tons of presets. Now you can really quickly go through hundreds of... Also, another one where this would be really useful is Creative Inner Space. It used to be you had to scroll through these presets. Now you just... So you go from... to this. And then... So, the uh, four-wheel drive tires have been put on your vehicle. It's really super fun and easy to go surfing through all sorts of parameters to the filter, to the oscillator, to the LFOs, to all of these various window presets on all these effects are all available to you to just scroll like you're on a surfing web page kind of adventure. But now you're making sense sounds. So there's additional end updates to this that are fixes, so forth that are more of the minor fixes so that things work like they should. But those are the big enhancements that I think make this a really cool update. So if you don't have 2.5, it's a free update. You should have it. Um, get it and enjoy. Enjoy our libraries and we'll see you in the next video.